guys it is pro or for me today it's uh monday a dang b around here but it's a it's a monday uh diesel drags so the videos you guys are watching right now are from saturday how about that 996 and that 2000 second gen that thing is that thing's stupid fast it ended up losing in the last video against its triple turbo Duramax from South Dakota. But it was its worst run of the night. I think it ran an 11. Its best run of the night was a 994 and it was running like a 10, 10 1 consistently. And that Duramax ran a 10 4 to beat him. But that was some good races for sure. But we had a long night. Uh, we, uh, Mocan's only like 35 minutes away for us and we had to stop on the side of the highway because uh, our belt pretty much ate itself alive, I guess. I don't. I got a bad pulley, or of some sort, because one rib of the belt started. I could hear it slapping the top of the hood, so I'd get out, cut it off, drive for a little ways, get out, cut it off. I had to do that twice, and then I got to the exit I needed to be at, and we stopped and checked it out, and then I limped it back here to the house. Uh, but that's not our only problem. Uh, around 70 miles an hour. The, I get a really bad vibration and it's got to be something to do with the rear pinion seal I just put in because it was leaking pretty bad well it wasn't leaking that bad before I replaced it now it's leaking even worse and now I'm getting vibration I don't know if the straps on the u-joint are sitting flush or how they should be because one of them fought me for a long time so we're having issues with that but we got to get it fixed up because Thursdays whenever we leave to go see Cole to get on a real dyno and we got some I, I got a longer power screw coming from the hungry diesel I've got a lift pump coming so we got lots of stuff to do in this week I'm getting ready to go do a detail get some gas money for the trip as always gotta, gotta keep making some money but the truck actually was as you could tell in the walk around video I mean, the truck was cleaned up pretty good. Not bad for some old stocks. But I'm sure you guys can probably see the wetness on the rear axle. Pretty sure it's a, a pinion bearing. But I think that requires taking everything out and yeah, I don't know about that. That's that would not be good because I definitely do not have time to do that this week. So uh, in the walk around video, those trucks by me were uh, really. I don't honestly. I still don't know his name or can't remember his name, and I feel really bad because he's a super nice guy. He built all three of those trucks. Uh, the the big blue one four door is his. They're all NV forty five hundred swapped. Uh, like they all have HE351s, but he built all three of those. The black one was his son's truck, and then the red one was a buddy of his dually. And they all ran them. I think the black truck ran a 17.6 or something like that. The big blue truck ran a like a 18.1. Because he was having, I mean, it was on 40s. He was having trouble getting it moving. And then the the dually ran like an 18.5 or something. So healthy trucks, uh, very very beautiful trucks. They it was pretty awesome just to be even just to be by them because they look so good. But uh, we're gonna get detailing. So I think we're actually going to take this up to the lake just to unload some of the stuff, and it should be fine. I would, it's right down the road. Uh, hopefully.
hopefully we don't have anything go bad. But we better. After being at Mocan and seeing some times, there was a, that person there was running 14s. Uh, I'm sure most of you guys that watch my videos uh, watch Greg A. Because who doesn't watch Greg A? Uh, his first gen that makes 408. Uh, it's got, I mean, it's got good suspension and stuff, and it's got uh, Caltrax. He he runs a 12.8 with slicks on the back, and I mean, this truck was running 14 something. It sounded pretty good. I figured pretty much I could have been competing in the four wheel drive qualifier class, the four wheel drive diesel class, and the best time. Obviously, the night was a 995, but the there was three trucks running 10s. The rest of them were in the 12s. I think there was the final four. Uh, there was the final four. There was one that ran an 11, then one that ran a 12-2 that ended up losing. But pretty much, if I could get into the 12s, I could be running against or running with some pretty good pretty good competition and I'd be good so one day we'll get there uh, obviously need a transmission but we're gonna we're gonna just keep hacking away hopefully we'll have some good content for you guys you guys should be excited for this dyno I mean this is gonna be the real deal should be a lot of fun uh, just me I think JC's going with me and then Cole uh, obviously so it's gonna be a really good time make sure you guys stay tuned for that I'll try and have JC take video uh, but should be a lot of fun. Hi, kitty. We got a Jeep Cherokee that I think is a 392 and an EcoBoost. They're both fast. Supercharged 6 2. Come on, baby. He's going to get him on the big end. Yep. He gave it to the Jeep. Jeep 1, 1226. Jeez. Come on, baby, hook. 